climate crisis is going to continue rising. And when we say land back, we're not saying land back only for the indigenous peoples. I'm saying it for my future generations and all else that's going to live off of these lands, not just the indigenous peoples. Nazco, First Nation. This was a beautiful film. I mean, the cinematography was absolutely breathtaking. And the whole film, the way that the filmmakers did this, how they set up the interviews and kind of led you on this journey, it gave me a greater understanding of what the Nazco First People, First Nation people, indigenous people, what they went through what they're doing to preserve their culture and help educate other cultures about their culture and teach their kids, you know? It's important to understand history so that the rest of us, we don't make the same mistakes and repeat it. I loved the music that was in this. I loved the interviews getting a chance to hear everybody talk and listen to their stories. A lot of it was heartbreaking about what they went through, but it's so important to understand and to watch things like this. So yeah, great job. NASCO, wow, this, there was just a lot packed into this documentary. I thought, um, you know, everything was filmed really well. All the, the elements came together nicely for me. Um, there was a setup and there was different elements that different sort of things that this was about but i think when it comes down to it it was about tradition and community and healing and survival and that these people were facing different traumatic events that had happened um and still facing the healing of it all and different challenges that have come up by living on the land and being in harmony with nature and I think outside forces that don't live that way. Um, and with the school and the kids being killed and abused and the fires and just all of these different things, it's just tragic. Um, but I like that different people are, are developing different sort of foundations and places that people can get help, you know, mentally and different in different ways they can heal and, and, and as a community come back together I love that. Um, I just feel like the editing was really nice. The cinematography with the beautiful footage of the, the area, the land, the overhead footage, the drone footage. Um, really nice interviews and the music as well. I thought everything really did come together very nicely. I thought there was a variety of different elements. And yeah, I learned a lot. I thought it was um, packed with information and you know just a lot of great stuff about what was going on in that part of the of Canada just um, really interesting it was very nice throughout so in the music as well if I didn't say that already and um, I wish you guys the best of luck this has been really amazing to watch um, the story and the modern reality of indigenous people uh, in America is obviously always fascinating um i'm deaf i feel very um attracted to that culture so i was glad to have this in front of me um and to be able to learn so much and this documentary yeah definitely achieved that goal it taught me so much uh and uh, it did that f by respecting the this fascinating culture and capturing their people and their traditions and their music in a way that felt quite raw, not forced, not preachy or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's really admirable. Um, I think it brings out some interesting nuanced conversations on loss, cultural loss, um, and identity loss, and therefore identity ownership. Um, and tech, from a technical perspective, perspective I really appreciated the kind of categorization in chapters um, of the overall narrative and um, it definitely gives students uh, kind of like um, 
a welcoming to a different story uh, and these stories are stories that feel intimate and authentic and a subjective perspective that is real and modern so um, of, of a culture that feels unfortunately like it's kind of um, ending but it's nice to know that it's not um, so yeah love this I really enjoyed this piece. I thought it was beautiful, informative, topical, and really important right now. Important in how it um, really helps paint the complete picture and humanize these people. Um, sure, we have Truth and Reconciliation Day, and there was some sort of uh, you know superficial talk uh, in media outlets uh, about um, you know the, the people and and what was done to them. But this really helped humanize them. It really took us, um, it took us by the hand, took us for a walk through their community, uh, and we really got to, uh, yeah, sort of deep dive in into their entire community and culture and learn a lot. And again, help humanize it and really shine a light on the importance of uh, uh, these of making these amends and um, you know all the. Uh, steps that will or have been taken to, uh, you know, help heal and help uh, acknowledge uh, what, what was done. So uh, really, again, important piece, beautifully done, and I enjoyed it.